Our next guest isn't letting anything stop her. Amy Brooks says no arms, no legs, no problem. She is an author and motivational speaker. Amy, welcome to Real Life. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor to have you here. Thank you. You just radiate joy and confidence. Tell me about your story. Let's start at the very beginning. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, I don't have arms or legs. Um, I was born this way. Um, in the medical world, it's called tetrafocomelia. Mm -hmm. And so that basically just means I was born without arms and legs. And um, I was um, left abandoned at the hospital by my birth family and soon adopted by a uh, loving Christian family, um, the Brookses. And, um, you know, they didn't let, they didn't treat me as though I was handicapped. So um, I grew up with my other four um, siblings the way that, you know, as like any other child. Uh -huh. Did you ever fight? Oh, sure. <laughs> but, you know, to be honest, I, um, you know, I was closer in age to my nieces and nephews. So um, those were the, the ones that I played with, but yeah. I mean, yeah, we fought. I mean, yeah, yeah. they knew they could knock me over easy, so that's what they did to me, and um, I have a little bone in my short arm that I would dig into them if they, you know, if I, nice. that was my way of getting back, but yes. you know. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, I mean, sibling, sibling fun, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, one of the things that you had mentioned, uh, we had talked about before our, about the word disability. And uh, you have a different word, which I love the perspective that you have. Share that with us. Um, I would just say that I'm differently abled. I do. Um, I can do almost everything that, that anybody else can do. I just have to find a different way of doing them. Okay, yeah, because you do some pretty phenomenal things here. <laughs> like, we have a table full of what Amy does here. She makes purses. Like, I don't even know anybody that makes yeah. purses. Wow. Getting a pattern... Cutting it out. Tell, tell me that process. So basically anything that I um, do, I do with my mouth or my, my little arms. And um, so, yeah, I, I cut out the fabric and everything with a, a rotary cutter in my mouth. And um, the patterns I have to cut out with an X-Acto knife because I can't really use scissors. Okay. Um, and I use a sewing machine that I just um, love. It um, I can thread the machine myself, but it has an automatic needle threader, and okay. I don't have to um, press the foot pedal because it just has a start and stop button. So okay. um, I feed the fabric through with my little arm, or I hold um, a, um, a chopstick in my mouth that a friend of mine um, put some gaff tape on and some Plasti Dip to give it a little grip, and okay. I, I use that to feed the fabric through yeah. um, the machine. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, I heard that you had uh, some grip somewhere else at one point with some glue and some issues at one point when you first started off. Yeah, so that didn't really have to do with sewing, but when I was young, um, you know, I've always been crafty and artsy and, you know, I love to create things and um, I wanted to do something with a hot glue gun. And my mom was like, you are absolutely not using a, a hot glue gun. <laughs> and so, but, you know, when she says you can't do that, I'm always quick to pr to prove you wrong and you know show you that I can. So um, I took the hot glue gun and I had to sneak it so that she wouldn't see. Oh my goodness! But um, so I was gluing away. But um, if you've ever used a hot glue gun, you know those tiny little hair-like strings that of glue that yes, get in the way. Yes, they're terrible. <laughs> and I went to pull one out of the way with my lips and I missed and. I hit the both top and bottom lip hit the metal nozzle, oh and God. I got a pretty nasty burn. <laughs> but, but I did it, and you know my, my mom is a little bit more careful now about what she tells me I can and can't do. Yeah, because you, you hot glued your lips together. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's kind of a big deal. But I kind of love that about you. There's a, a deep, strong will in you that if somebody says, "Oh, you can't do this," you say. I can. Yeah. And then you don't really say, I can. You say, watch me do it. <laughs> I mean, either I'm stupid or God has just given me the, <laughs> <laughs> the will to, you know, I mean, I'm fearless in that, in that way. I'm, I mean, I have fear about other things, but about trying new things. I love to try new things. I'm not worried, you know, scared about taking something new on or a challenge to me. To me, it's an adventure to try something new and, and challenging. 
Well, I think it's amazing if you look at all the stuff here that's on the table because you do all of this from scratch. It isn't like you're just taking a little bit on there. I want to make sure people understand that at home that she's not just taking a couple of things here and putting them together. These are beautiful. Yeah. I mean, these are beautiful things. Uh, the picture here. Yeah, yeah. Hold, this is like. That's amazing. This is amazing because. <laughs> Tell me the process of how you did this. It's it's like 3D. I'm not sure if yeah. you can see it in the in the camera. It's like 3D yeah, and it's layered and it's cut out. Tell us how you cut it out, how you got the idea. And it's so detailed wow. to think that you did this with your mouth. I just so it's, it's called, amazing. It's a technique called paper toll, mm -hmm. and it's been around for a really long time. And I actually um, had seen something similar at just like a craft show and I thought it was amazing and I wanted to try it myself so I decided to have my mom buy a piece so that I could get it home and tear it apart and see how it was made and um, um, basically what I do is I there are about five to six um, copies of the same photo and I take an X-Acto knife in my mouth and I cut out all of the intricate little pieces and then you use one as a base um, layer and you mm -hmm. take silicone to create that depth and you place all those little pieces on top of each other. So. You were talking about, you know, uh, 3D, but it's it's kind of more three more than 3D because there's like way more than three layers right, in there. Right. Right. Wow. How long does it take to do something like this? Um, so the picture probably took me um, about a week or so, and um, wow. I mean that that's not my drawing or anything. That's just a Still? couple of of um, photos of something that, from Norman Rockwell. But um, so the cool. per, the big purse in front of you um, with Snoopy. Snoopy. Your yeah, favorite. that was the latest Snoopy. one that I've done, and I did it for my sister because she loves Snoopy too. Um, wow. That oh, took cool. me three weeks. That was it's the hardest wow. one I've done so far. It's beautiful. Um, it's made out of cork, and so um, it's a little bit harder to, to work with, and you can't really make mistakes because you can't take your stitches out. You'll see holes in it. Yeah. Um, so that was really that one was challenging for me, but. Um, but she loves it, so I'm happy. <laughs> so, Amy, you're an author. You've written not one, but two books. You are sewing. You are doing art. You're creating. What are some of your other goals or, and dreams and visions? Um, I would love to learn how to drive. <laughs> drive? Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I took a, um, a little evaluation, and they put me on the road, and I was able to do it. So um, okay. that's something that I would love yeah. to do in the future in the future if, if I'm able to. In fact, um, Caring Hearts, mm -hmm. um, who you'll be talking to later, I believe, um, has started a GoFundMe campaign in my honor to help oh, wow. raise a, um, funds for a van. So um, that's really been amazing of them to have them come alongside me in that way. That's amazing. Now, you also said that people can get your product by a donation. Is that correct? Yeah, a suggested donation um, towards my towards my um, trust fund and that will help me in the future to stay independent financially when I don't have my parents um, to help me. Yeah. Amy, how important is a good sense of humor in life? I mean, we were talking about perspective and I think um, that laughter is the best medicine. Um, yeah. And if, you, if you're not gonna laugh about something, you're gonna cry and it's much funner to laugh, I think. But um, I mean, that's something that my parents instilled in me when we are a crazy family and yeah. um, I love to laugh. I mean, we have tons of hilarious stories, so. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about how your faith has played a role in your life. Uh, how has Jesus Christ been an impact? That's also something that my family instilled in me that, you know, um, God doesn't make mistakes and um, that we're all here for a purpose. And um, so my faith has really um, gotten me through those tough times, you know, and, um, and he's, he's brought so many people into my life along the way to help me with those challenges. And um, so, yeah. What does, your, what does your prayer life and your Bible study life look like? Not as good as it should be. I mean, I mean, we all, honest. Yes, yeah. I mean, I mean we, all, we all hope, we can all improve in that area, I yeah. believe. Um, but um, I definitely, you know, he's, he's the one that I go to for every, for everything yeah. and and the one that I praise for everything that he's given me and um, you know like we were talking about perspective um, my mom has always taught me that there's always somebody else going through something that's you know worse than what you're going through yeah. and it's good to keep that in perspective and to be thankful for what God has given me and the talents he has given me and so I try to keep that in mind. Yeah.
I think it's really amazing. I mean, unseen arms, uh, you've got the purses, the, uh, the, the pictures, and all those things, but you're also a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> how she does it, is, am I correct? Is that how? How does she do it? How does it? she how do, does it? She do yeah. it? So tell us a little bit about that. I, I did see a little bit of when you were typing, which was amazing. If you haven't seen that, you've got to go to the YouTube page, and you can go to ctvn.org and find out more information about it. But it's amazing to see what you do so quickly yeah. uh, with that. So tell us a little bit about how you type and how you use your phone. How and do you use your phone? Well, like I said, I do pretty much everything with my mouth, and um, I text with my lips, and if I want to respond really fast, I use my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the channel, I wouldn't say I'm a celebrity, but it was just mainly a place where I could share the things that um, God has allowed me to be able to do, the independence that he allows me to have, and to be able to share that with others who might feel like they can't do something or don't aren't capable of it or don't have the talent to do something. Um, and I just hope that it's encouraging pe to people who think that they can't, to show them that they can. Mm -hmm. So what if somebody's watching today and they're really discouraged and they really feel like, like I, don't, I, don't, I don't really see the hope. I don't see the hope in this. I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. How would you encourage them today? I would just say that, you know, God God doesn't make mistakes and that we're all here for a reason and He doesn't call us to something that He is not going to be right there by our side to get to get us through and um, that you have the strength you have you have the power that you know that God that God gives you when you're a child of His and um, you're not doing it on your own strength. So um, Philippians four thirteen says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and um, so yeah, I mean, That's I my favorite scripture. Yeah. My life scripture is, um, "I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, your works are wonderful. I know that full well." Um, because he doesn't make mistakes, yeah. and and so right. um, he know he know he knows everything about you already and the things that you need. So. Wow. I mean, there's one other thing Beautiful. I wanted to mention, though. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, kind of the byline of all your product. They couldn't yeah. see it. I don't know if we can. I grab that. Is that all right? If I grab the, it the on here. There is a real unique lips on there. <laughs> what is uh, the byline of all your product? Yeah, so on my logo that I stitch into all of my um, sewing products is stitched with a kiss. And um, since I use, <laughs> since awesome. I use my mouth, yeah. It, because you were stitched with a kiss, That's the right. kiss of God. Amen. And you are, have blessed us and you've For blessed sure. so many. And you're going to continue to sp inspire and encourage so many with your faith and your life. Thank you so much for yes. coming, Thank Amy. It's for such an me. honor to have you here. And you too were stitched with a kiss. The very kiss, the, your, the very fingerprint of God is on your life. And He does not make mistakes. And you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. He loves you like crazy.